I made all of the textures in the original Dust 2 better using AI. I upscaled them to be 16 times the size of the originals, which conveniently makes them about the same size as modern day CSGO textures. What's great about AI upscaling is that it keeps the style of the original better than straight out texture replacements. And also, it's a hell faster than trying to do it by hand. I simply fed them all into a program and it spat out upscaled images in about a second. It took my computer under 40 seconds to upscale the whole of Dust 2. I have uploaded it to the workshop should you like to test it for yourself. But be warned, it's easy to forget what they looked like in the first place. So this video may serve as a better comparison tool than to simply run about the level yourself. I've spent the best part of a month upscaling whatever I can get my hands on. On my hard drive is the highest quality intro to Lord of the Rings the world has ever seen, and I've successfully removed interlacing artefacts from Peep Show. There are limitations to what the technology can achieve. If the source recording is blurry or has graphical artefacts, then AI upscaling will only make it worse. It's because of this that I felt that upscaling Dust 2 would work well, because while the textures are low res, they're high in quality and don't suffer from JPEGing or stuff like that. The technology continues to impress me. It seems to know when to make a smooth line and when to add texture to an otherwise flat looking surface. It can keep the look of graffiti while still texturing the wood behind it and so on. It is interesting to see how different variations of the same texture have subtle changes to them. The AI does take into account the whole texture and it's surprising how a spray paint in one part of it can manage to change the texture of a brick elsewhere. I also upscaled the skybox, which was harder because it was heavily compressed and with lots of mistakes around the edges of the mountains. I shrunk the originals down to half to reduce these artefacts, then upscaled from there and I'm happy with the result, even though there are a few bugs like a huge hole right through the top of this mountain here. To tell you the truth, 2D skyboxes are magical to me. I struggle to imagine what younger gamers must think when they stare at these blurry, flat monstrosities, but even now, merely glimpsing at these mountains transports me back to my earliest memories of PC gaming, where I'd stare at these beautiful places I'd never reach and would dream of how incredible it would be if I could. In fact, it brings me back even further than that to the days of the Atari and those terrible 2.5D racing games. Those backdrops you'd never reach always seemed a lot more appealing to me than the road I was driving along. While I can't speak for everyone, I can confidently say that AI upscaling hasn't ruined these 2D skyboxes for me. I look at these things and they still give me that same sense of wonder that they did 20 years ago. I didn't stop at high res upscaling though, I also made normal maps for some of the textures, so lighting will appear to come from the correct direction and so on. I did get a little bit carried away with this at first, and it made the whole map look like something out of Borderlands. Didn't suit the style of this project, but it's probably something you'd make something awesome with if you wanted to. It's clear that AI upscaling has vastly improved the quality of these textures, so you're probably thinking, what if I upscaled these textures again? Is it possible to endlessly upscale them until I'm left with an infinitely detailed image? Sadly not. The short answer is, what you're seeing here is about as good as I think you can hope for. If I was to upscale these images again, their style would become increasingly cartoony looking. Instead of looking like rock or wood, they'd become more like a blobby painting. You might think that by adding noise to them before upscaling that this could be avoided, but noise counts as a graphical artifact and will only further distance the result from the desired style of the original. But of course, if you think you can do better, you're free to try yourself. The reality is, no matter how much you improve these textures, the map will never look as good as CS goes. It doesn't have the props or details required. Even with high res textures, the locations are still flat and blocky in shape. To me, this looks more like the source version of Dust 2 than it does to CS goes. The sand texture in particular ends up looking like the one found in CSS. This is the map that nobody asked for, but it was a curiosity for me, and I would love it if Macman himself got to see it. Being the maker of the original textures, he's in the best position to judge if these upscaled textures remain faithful to his original vision for the map. If you want to know more, then check out Two Clicks Phillips' videos on AI upscaling, where he does all sorts of horrible things to faces. The monster.